All right. Welcome to part three of 4200 editing practice. So we've uh, gone over our editing modes, our tools, and how each of those work. And we've also done a little bit of editing on these, uh, these drums right here. Um, so real quick, let's just pick up right where we left off. Let's finish these drums. Uh, so I'm just going to keep this in relative grid mode. And I'm going to go down to this downbeat, command right bracket to zoom in. And most likely I'm going to have a loop that just kind of goes in between here. This region sure does look a lot like that one. And I'm sure if I listen to both of them... Alright, so they're a little bit different, but it uh, seems like it just kind of does this simple that simple little beat. So I could probably loop this section right here. So since I've already got um, grid mode on and I've got it set to bars, it's already selected the downbeats of both of these bars. And I'm in relative grid mode, just uh, so you know. And if you didn't already notice, I have recorded this to a click track, so my regions are actually locked to the grid. Well, not physically locked, but uh, timing, rhythmic-wise, the playing, my waveforms are recorded to a click track. All right, so I am just going to loop this guy over to here. So one way I could do that is by turning on my loop tool. Just press F6. Till I see the little loop guy. There he is. And I can just loop this. Whoops. Forgot I gotta make my... Thought I made my edits. Alright, alright. B. B. Alright, now I can loop this. F6. And by the way, I just press F7 to go to the uh, selector tool. So there we go. There's our little loop. Let's see what happens. <laughs> cool my drums are working um, one thing I will note about these loops though is the fact that I don't use this tool a lot because see these little arrows it's basically telling you your this region is just a reference of that region and this part is just a reference of that region so it takes a little more processing power um, so if you've got like a gazillion tracks and you've got them all looped like that, uh, I've noticed that sometimes it'll lag a little bit more if they're all looped. So once I've done this, I'll tend to flatten my loops. Um, so I can go to, I believe... Uh, oh, wait, well, I'm just going to do it the way I, I normally do it. Uh, I would consol consol consolidate... Man, I can't talk today. Uh, consolidate this region. Um and just flatten it. But before I would consolidate it, you know, I'd create a duplicate playlist. So if I needed to go back and open up that edit or anything like that, um, I'd have my original there. So I'm just going to create duplicate. Uh, sometimes I'll uh, I'll put like edit there or something. Or sometimes I'll just add a space. Uh, and I'll know by the play uh, playlist number which is which. It's totally up to you. I'll just do a little edit right there. So just, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. before I do this, I'm just going to hit Command F, do a little batch fade. There we go. And then Option Shift 3. And put my tool back to the regular just by toggling F6. Bring that back over here. And bring that back over here. Sure enough. <laughs> And so on and so forth. So cool, we're done with the drums. 
Awesome. Let's see what else we got some problems. Oh, man, all these tracks are hard to see. Uh, I wish I could see all my tracks in the window at once. Man, wish there was a shortcut for that. Hey, I bet there is. Um, <clears throat> well, I'll tell you. Control, Option, Command. So that's our fat finger command. We hold all those down. And remember on the last uh, lesson I was telling you Control, Up or Down, resizes the track? Well, if I hold fat finger, hit Up, all of my tracks are now fit to the window. So if I've got like 30 million tracks, you know, they'll be really, really, really tiny up there. But if I've only got one or two, they'll be really big. So it just sizes them all to fit. All right, so let's take a look here. Ooh, got, uh, that doesn't look very promising. Huh? Well, we've got a problem right here. All right, so uh, control up to resize this window. Command left bracket to zoom out. And since we're just in uh, relative, uh, we're in slip mode, let's go F4 for relative grid. I know I'm missing the chorus, so I'm just uh, going to highlight here. B, and then I'm going to turn on my smart tool, smash F6 and F7. Option, click, and drag. And let's see how that goes. F7. cool that works I'll do command a to select everything on that track and command F to do a little fade so I'll just do my batch fade and command oops I forgot about that uh, before I do my fade I'm gonna get rid of this region so command H to heal it or edit heal separation of course I've already done it so it's grayed out now I'll hit command a command F and good to go Control down, resize. And let's uh, let's do some of our counting things. So the whole purpose of this assignment is to uh, basically reorder my, uh, my counting to be on time. But uh, I'm going to clean up my tracks just a little bit first. So I'm going to go down, control up to resize, scroll down, command right bracket. And I've got some stuff I don't need. So remember I was uh, telling you to basically edit in slip mode when you're doing free-for-all editing. Um, so that's what I want to be in. So I can just press F2 to get there. Or I could just click slip right there. All right. Um, okay, I'm talking some more uh, keyboard focus commands. A quick way to clean things up just a little bit. So if I were to solo, you'd probably actually hear me walk into the room. Let's see if we can. All right, so I guess you can. Uh, but anyways, put that back. Um, that's all that stuff we don't need. That <clears throat> we don't need. If you've got a quiet part of the song, that'll be bad. So I could go over here, press B, double click, and delete. That works. But I wanna, I wanna get pretty quick at this stuff. Um, and remember, you know, these regions aren't actually audio files. They're representations of the audio file. So I'm not actually affecting the audio file. I'm just uh, controlling how much of it I see in the edit window or here when I play back. So I'm going to make sure keyboard focus is on and up here. And uh, some nice shortcuts we've got. Uh, we're going to use our left hand for this. So, uh, to the right of the caps lock key, we've got our A. Um, in keyboard, keyboard focus, A deletes everything to the left of the cursor. So A, A, look. It deleted everything to the left of the cursor. Z to undo in keyboard focus. Don't have to press con Command Z. Uh, but notice about this A command is you got to be very, very careful. So if like I'm over here and I want to delete this uh, this space, if I accidentally press A, notice I have deleted all of that stuff, and that's bad because I had a chorus I just deleted. So be careful. Um, there is a way to protect yourself. If you uh, pretend like that this is an audio file you want to keep, 
if you just put a region boundary by pressing B, uh, A will only delete everything to that region boundary. No region boundary, everything to the left. Region boundary, everything to the boundary. So there you go. So I'm just going to go through, press A. Yeah, da, 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 that all looks good. All right, B. Actually, I'm going to leave that here. I'm just going to put a little... Actually, no. Go, we'll get to that. B to put that here. All right. A. All right, let's see what this is. Let's uh, listen to this in con context here. <laughs> So yeah, it's basically be me being a jackass, uh, just making a, you know, a little uh, squeaky horn sound. So I was just goofing off. So I I, I don't want this in there. Uh, so I'm gonna delete it. So I click here, A deletes everything to the left. Okay, and I actually don't even like this at all. So second verse got to put him. Oh God, that is awful. I don't know why I do these things. Um, so I'm going to delete all of this. Um, so I'm going to go back and undo, and I'm going to show you a different command. Instead of doing A, which does everything to the left, D, I'm uh, sorry, S does everything to the right. So S is just to the right of A, which does everything to the left. S deletes everything to the right. So I just click S, S. Double click, delete, and there you go. All right, just kind of moving along those commands because this line or this row of commands is actually pretty useful. Um, so say I've got, uh, you know, I've got a little region here. Just turn on my smart tool by smashing F6 and F7. Uh, say I want to do a fade in. Say that's say pretend like this is something really important for whatever reason, and I want to fade in. I want to do a nice long fade. I want to fade in all the way from here to there. Well, if I press the D button, it fades in from there to wherever the cursor is. So if I have over here, D, fade in to cursor. That's what D does. Fade into cursor. Well, what kind of fade does it drop in there? Well, let's take a look. That's something that's going to be a preference because uh, it's an automatic thing. And it's something that has to do with the setup of how Pro Tools is set up to operate. So it's going to be under the Setup tab, believe it or not. So I'll set up Preference. And uh, this is changing. Uh, basically, we're editing. So it's going to be in the Editing tab. So and we've got our default fade settings. So we can click on Fade In. I like these exponential curves. They sound a little more human than the straight up. <laughs> that's poo. So I kind of like... Kind of like that guy a little bit better. Fade out, same thing, because that is... I don't like that. So that's a little smoother. And then my crossfade, I do this little crazy thing. Because I can actually hear a difference sometimes. You know, equal power, you know, that works 9 times out of 10. But sometimes I've come across some weird things where that sounds pretty smooth. So I like those. So OK. And OK. And now it fades in like that. So I'm just going to press A, maybe drop a little fade there, drop a little fade there, and so on and so forth. But let's listen to what we got. Okay, so we have to put these in order. So I am just going to zoom in, command right bracket, shift scroll, and there we go. So we've got our numbers here. One, four, two, three. All right, so it's supposed to go one, two, three, four. We've got one, four, two, three. Let me check. Two, three. All right. So when you're doing this, uh, I suggest using relative grid mode. I also suggest uh, making your view, when you go to region, name, it's checked. 
I typically don't like looking at my region name because it gets in the way of the waveform, but here's where you might find it use useful. So I'm just going to go to view, region, name. Okay, so I'm going to make a, a region for every little number. So this is going to be B for one region, B, 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 B. And let's see what's going on. So count funk, count funk, count funk, count funk, count funk. All right, so that's that doesn't really tell me anything. Uh, so <clears throat> with my smart tool engaged, like I said, F6 and F7, smash them together. If you double click the bottom of the region, you can name the region. You can also get there by going to region, rename, or this crazy looking shortcut, option shift command R. So Option Shift Command R, or Command Option Shift R, whichever. So I'm gonna call this one. Four. All right, double click four. Two. Two. I'm gonna guess that's three. Three. Okay. Five. Five. Eight. Double click eights. Six and seven. Ooh, six and seven. I ain't no singer, that's for sure. So, B. Six, six, seven, seven. So I'm gonna get that. Make sure I get that seven. So. And seven. And seven. And seven. And seven. Seven. There we go. That sounds more like the seven and not the mm. The N mm, mm, seven. Actually, they're right after each other, so I don't even have to. So I can make this one region. Duh. Command H, double click six and seven. I don't even have to. Man, I thought I thought I was saying these out of order. I guess I must have just had a brain fart. Okay, so what we got here? Now, now. Okay. Take them in some mode and edit. Oh, that is awful. But anyways, here we go. So we got a nice visual representation of our numbers. So that's going to be easy to put in order. Uh, okay. So relative grid. So F4. And I'm just going to move things around. Just like uh, I would like blocks on a table. So I'll move four over here. Two. And notice it's, well, no, I can't move it there. All right, well, I got to go through and change my grid. Change it to quarter notes, because it's, I'm hitting on the quarter note every time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, and seven, and eight. Oh, I messed all this up. Oh, who cares? Uh, F2 for slip mode. Drag that over to the right, and there's our region. So Command H, and we're back to normal. So here we go. Let's see if we got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Ooh, that's uh, that doesn't feel very good. Um, so six and seven needs to come later. So I'm just going to highlight all of this. Shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. I'm going to move it over. A, whoops, I'm in slip mode. So you can see that uh, it's not on the grid anymore. I don't know why I talk the way I do sometimes. Okay, relative grid, F4, or I can click. Now let's make sure it's back where it's supposed to be. That looks better, just by hitting Command Z. And move it over one quarter note. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Now take them in some mode and edit. All right, well, that's awkward. I really wish I would have counted to ten. That would have been awesome. Maybe I'll do a new version and count to ten. So I'm just moving it over a bar. Take them in some mode and edit. Oh, that doesn't sound any better. Eight. Now take them in some mode. All right, so I am just going to mute these regions. I don't really want to delete them. 
Um, but I don't want to listen to them anymore because the main point is just so you can learn how to shuffle stuff around and how easy it is using relative grid mode. doesn't even matter where your edit points are. Um, but, you know, keep in mind this only works, uh, you know, when you follow a click trick. Uh, you can do it in minutes and seconds mode and you can get pretty close. Um, sometimes you'll get really, really lucky and it'll, it'll always land where you want it to land. But uh, that also depends on, you know. A variety of things how far zoomed out you are how much you're trying to move how close it has to be where it needs to be so on and so forth um, so I like to keep it uh, relative grid mode when I've actually recorded to a click track or something like that okay all right so I want to mute these so I can go to region uh, it's not in region I know the shortcuts so edits uh, mute regions there we go uh, edits mute regions or command M notice what happens command M Hey, so they're grayed out. So I bet if I uh, try to play over them. Okay, it muted them, so I'm not listening to them anymore. Hey, sweetness, awesome. All right, so I'm going to, well, I guess I'll unmute that. Control down, resize that. Hit P to navigate up. Notice that it only works with keyboard focus on if keyboard focus it off no, it's not doing anything I have to use control P control semicolon all right so keyboard focus and let's see what's going on with this course give me your number and I'll send you a message a WTF for baby why are you driving me so damn crazy Okay, so I probably want those lyrics in the chorus. Kind of important to have that here. So F2 for slip mode. Just going to highlight B. F4 relative grid. F7, F8 smart tool. Option click and drag. Oh, whoops. It's kind of hard to, hard to guess, so I'll set my grid back to bar. Option click. And there it is. Give me your number and I'll send you a message. A WTF for baby. Alright, so that, that chorus feels pretty good, but let's see if we can uh, we can make it a little bit better. Let's see what's happening in in this chorus. Well that's the chorus riff, so that's mute not counting. Let's uh, press control up and resize this. Let's see if uh, see what happens when I put this lead guitar. It's got a kind of cooler. Well, it's a cool little beat uh, melody. Let's throw that in with the chorus and the vocals. So let's see what's uh, see what it sounds like when it's all together. So I'm just gonna play from uh, here. <laughs> We've got a new region, so I can press F4, go to relative grid, option, I'm still on bar, so I can just option, click, and drag. Give me your number and I'll send you a message, a for Well, that doesn't sound right, so let's see if we can make that work a little bit better. Hmm. So I'm just going to mute it, command M. Give me your number and I'll send you a message. I wonder why I dropped out there. That was weird. Uh, so it seems like that part needs to start right there. All right. So I am going to set this to quarter note. Oh, sure enough, there's a quarter note right there. So I can just drag this guy over to there. Command M. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't work for that second half, so F2 for slip mode, command right bracket zoom in, and S. That deletes that little guy. 
So I'm probably, every time we've got the shaker, I probably want that lead guitar. So F4, relative grid mode, option click. So that doesn't look right. Looks like it needs to go there. Let's see. Send you a message, a WTF baby. Why are you driving me so damn crazy? A couple of things I feel I'm having a presence. A WTF baby. Hey, cool, there we go. So I'll do the same thing uh, for course two. Well, now that I've got this one course, so uh, I'm gonna select course one, and here's a cool little tidbit. Uh, all these markers, when I made them, I did it in sequential order, so this is one, two, three, four, five. I can double check that by going to window memory locations. And sure enough, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth. And, uh, I can press these numbers, or I can click right here, and notice the cursor jumps to that position. And notice it's on my lead guitar track that it's doing it, because that's where I last had the cursor. Uh, okay, here's a cool shortcut. Since these are numbers, I can type these numbers in and jump to that marker location. How do I do it? Well, first of all, I need a numeric keypad, um, so I'll press the period key on the numeric keypad and that's going to tell Pro Tools that I'm about to type in a memory location. Uh, so I type period, uh, let's see I want to go to period, let's see course one is marker four, period four. Oh, it didn't, it didn't jump there. Well why not? I don't know. Well, because we have uh, memory locations that are double digits, you have to tell Pro Tools you're done typing in a number. So notice I waited too long, I pressed period, it didn't jump, so I have to hit period four period. And notice I jumped to the chorus. And uh, say I want to jump to the verse and I want to highlight from the chorus to the verse. If I hold shift period five period, hey look at that. It highlighted from one place to the next. Quite useful. Uh, but you know, this, is, this is nasty. If I accidentally like click here oh damn i mm, oh, oh oh no okay so period four period shift period five period i want to group these regions so they move as one unit so i don't accidentally mess it up so i can go to region group or option command g so option command g for option command group and uh there we go audio's back so option command G, option command group. All right, still uh, still losing it. All right, all right. Hello, 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 hello. Cool. As long as I don't move, the audio will not go away. All right. So option click. There we go. Well, I didn't move it right, so I'm gonna set this back to bar since I'm zoomed out so far. Option click, and that looks much better. And that looks that looks much much better. I don't know what's going on with the audio right now. Um, okay, so listen. Give me your number and I'll send you a message. A W T F baby. Why are you driving me so damn crazy? A couple. Cool. All right, so uh, now I want to get those uh, groups back to normal because I don't want to edit my group. I want to go back to just looking at the regular region so I can uh, highlight all on that track by hitting Command A, Command All, and go into Region, Ungroup, or Command Option U. So Command Option G to group, Command Option U to ungroup. And sure enough, there we go. Also, while I've got everything highlighted, hit Command H, heal all those uh, heal all those regions that I'm uh, not using. Double click, delete, delete. B. Um, okay, A. Okay, Command right bracket, Command right bracket, A. Get a get a hello hello get a get a master's degree in audio and you have a Radio Shack eight inch cable that's going out awesome. This is professional. All right, cool. So now we've got our little song. 
and uh, I've edited all those spots I don't need on the guitar. So Command A, Command F. I'll do a little bit longer, fade in, fade out. There we go. Click, delete, control, option, command, up, 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 up. Oh well. So maybe my headphones are going out. Um, anyways, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. So you can take a listen and do all these tasks yourself and listen to the song when it's done. All right. So thanks for tuning in and uh, be sure to check out later for more. All right. Bye.